Yeah. And right. they all come in five minutes to get them. All right. I'm going to call this meeting to order on July 13th, 606 p.m. 2023. We have Sam LeBeau's one again. Edward Adams, I couldn't remember your last name. <laughs> and myself, too. No words. And you are, you were the chair anyway, I think, before Keith. Yes. So That's you don't have to do any jogging around or anything. Is that what, because we just, we did Sam last week just for the. That's right. And that was, that was a special situation, but you don't have to do anything because you were already the pre-chair. Uh, exactly. Also on that topic, uh, Keith has not renewed his um, appointment. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say vow, but not married to the town. Uh, yeah, yeah. So you know what I meant. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So yeah. So it's just no the course. Yeah. yeah. He's he's still around. He's just not in the planning board. Yep. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. All right. So that that's that anyway. So. I am already officially acting chair. Yeah, you sure are. Don't have to that. No, you got minutes, right, from the last meeting. Yes. Okay, good. All right, so let's look at the minutes from June 8th. You, I wasn't here, so you guys would have to. Yeah. Um, sort of the, uh, I don't think we can actually. We can't, because, because we have three we needs, needs, yeah, yeah, so we've got to wait for an hour. We'll have to so wait. Just kick it down the road. Kick this one until next month? Yeah. Yeah. Or we can wait until the end of the, this meeting if you. He's, he's not, no, no, Alice is going to be out for now. All right, we move the, the approval of the June 8th minutes to the August 10th. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so we come to item 3, our business 3.1 shoreland zoning application for the Western Port Hills Land Trust. Map block R10 72. So, who do we have? Hi, um, I'm Casey Bailey, Hi. and I'm the deputy director at Western Hills Land Trust. Okay. I don't know if maybe I can pull up the end of your table so that yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Just so a little background on Western Foothills Land Trust. Um, we've been in existence since 1987. We have just about 4,000 acres under conservation that we own ourselves. We have uh, almost 4,000 acres also under conservation with a conservation easement um, where other landowners continue to hold the land. But, um, we have two properties in Oxford at this point, but we are even looking to acquire a third uh, later on this year. So have that context. Um, and the, one of the properties is the one you have before you that we call McKean Wildlife Refuge. Um, we acquired this property in 2015. It was a donation um, from a landowner that uh, retains uh, lands nearby. Um, and as part of the donation and the agreement with Western Foothills, we uh, manage it primarily for the flora and fauna and ecological values. Um, with low impact recreation being a secondary purpose. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a property that we produce trail maps for. We don't have a kiosk, so we don't like kind of wave a red flag at it as, as um, something that people can come visit, but it is open um, with some woods roads and trails on the property, which um, in the narrative that I uh, gave you, there's a little uh, map that does include um, the property boundary. Uh, the red lines are, Woods roads, I'm sorry, the white lines are woods roads and the red lines are um, the trails that are on the property. Um, the property is about 75 acres. It's located off the East Oxford Road, but doesn't, um, it doesn't bound on the East Oxford Road. Uh, and the northern boundary is the Paris Town Line. Um, so given that our management is primarily for protection of the ecological values and flora and fauna, um, the stream habitat is something that we have a particular focus on. And yeah. the, the Meadowbrook stream, which is a named stream running through the par uh, parcel, is uh, prime uh, wild brook trout habitat. Um, wild brook trout is threatened for a number of reasons, some of which are 
impediments to passage for spawning, um, also a lot of cold water um, resources. So this project is focused on solving one of those issues for the brook trout that live in this stream, um, and that is fish passage. Um, there's a culvert that is located on the stream. This map will give you some location context uh, kind of to the southeast, um, sorry, southwest corner. Um, it's a, it's not even really a culvert, it's kind of like two old barrels that the top cut off kind of stuck together with a road built over it. Um, and I think you have some pictures of the downstream side where the, the edge of the, the lip of the culvert does have some water flowing in, but what you can't see is the top, uh, the upstream side is hanging, so there's no passage back and forth. Fish can't get through here. Uh, they go one way, but can't come back. Correct, and, and the gravel spawning beds are upstream from the culvert. Right? So um, the goal of this project is to take that culvert out and replace it with a bridge. Um, to improve the passage, improve stream flow, um, improve the, the road structure around it. Uh, we did look at just taking the culvert out and not um, replacing it with anything, um, just letting it become a stream, but uh, we decided that it was important to retain the connectivity of the woods roads um, for, if we, we aren't actively managing the forest, but for um, you know, disease or fire those sorts of things that we um, wanted to keep the roads uh, integral and, um, so that they were passable, as well as for the low impact recreation. Mm -hmm. um, so, the bridge design um, was done by NRCS, the Natural Resources Conservation Service, and which is a um, a program of USDA, and you'll see your packet of plans that it's a fairly complicated design for uh, a simple culvert replacement. Um, but that it just speaks to the um, care with which the bridge design is, protects the species and the stream habitat uh, around it. Um, so it, it what is proposed is removal of the culvert. Um, there's some filling of the downstream pool um, because it's been scoured out by the, the drop in the um, culvert. Installation of a precast bridge. This is a, a pre-made bridge. It comes in pieces and will be assembled on site. Um, and then there's some road access improvements where it, there's a look at sheet six. Um, which gives you in a, in a green line the existing profile of the grade to down to and up from the stream um, and then shown in a kind of dark red is where um, the top of the bridge will be and some fill to help uh, make that slope less severe um, the intent is to make it easier to pass bring the bridge up a little bit to allow more wa uh, water flow under the bridge um, and just to help reduce the erosion around it. Um, the bridge itself is 38 feet in length. It's a total width of 12 feet with a, a little over 10 feet of travel with um, the details of which are included in the packet. The base of the bridge, like the bottom of the sides, are at an elevation of 96 feet above sea level. The top of the deck is at 104. The bottom of the bridge is 102. Um, that's a brief overview of, of what we're what we're looking to do, and we're obviously here before you um, because this is within the shoreland protection zone as part of the stream protection, um, and both the permanent bridge and the road improvements I believe are within the planning board's um, authority to permit. Um, I think the plans probably will answer most of your questions if you have them, but I will try to um, answer any questions that you may have. Um, I also included in the packet our uh, DEP permit and some photos for you. Um, and yeah, so happy to answer some questions. And that, that DEP permit by rule was submitted last year. So they're, they're definitely ahead of getting all the approvals they need. We're, we're ultimately the, the last hurdle, if you will. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't even right. think it's gonna e even be a matter of issuing a building permit. I think this is the permit for that, basically. Mm -hmm. 
Now, obviously, you've done your homework. There's not going to be any effect on the Brooks. Everything is going to be EPA approved. It's going to be. Yeah, the, um, it, the project will be still, the construction is overseen by NRCS. There will be meetings with them um, before, during, and after the project. Um, it's, a, it's not a simple process. It's a whole, um, you know, they actually scoop out the fish. Uh, they, you know, divert the water. Um, they will definitely double check that there's no sedimentation running into the stream because um, the whole goal of this project is to improve the habitat and reduce all of those factors. Um, and to, to be transparent, the you know NRCS uh, designed this for us pursuant to a grant. It's partially funded by an NRCS grant and partially funded with private um, foundation money. It's probably the world's most expensive fish passage project, yeah. um, but we're lucky to have um, some really uh, great funding partners who care deeply about um, making sure there's uh, good habitat for the native uh, populations. Um, yeah. When would uh, this all start? So we're hoping that we are, last communication with our contractor is that we're on the schedule for August. Um, work has to be, in-stream work has to be done between July 1st and September 30th. Um, with, otherwise, there's additional layers of regulation with um, Army Corps. So that's our window this year, is to get it done by the end of September. Oh, okay. Yeah, the bridge is built. Um, it was built last summer. We hoped that this project would move forward last summer, but it turned out we needed some more money. Um, so we're, we're ready to go as soon as we can um, make sure we're on our contractor's schedule and get the final permits and meeting scheduled with NRCS. I.e., who is the contractor? Uh, ben Starrett, mm -hmm. uh, with Starrett's Snow and Landscape. Um, mm -hmm. He was recommended to us by NRCS. Okay. So he's probably done some he's done before. Before. Mm -hmm. Well, you've definitely done your homework, and it doesn't look like there's going to be too much environmental impact. And then obviously, if there is, I know from listening to you, you definitely would uh, have it all taken care of. We're hoping it's a positive environmental impact. Yes. Yeah, I was going to say, after by looking at this, you guys have done your homework. You, you know more about building and taking care of fish than I will ever know. So um, I'm glad to have brought it here, right? <laughs> I make a motion that we allow them to move forward with placing the culvert and protecting brook trout and putting a bridge on site. Yeah, according to uh, the these, uh, NRCS. As long as all the criteria is met. Yeah. Yeah. That's my I, motion. Uh, you put forward the motion. I accept that motion. I'll, I'll second, second it. Yeah. Uh -huh. All in favor? Oh, sorry, that's your job. Okay. All in favor? <laughs> <laughs> You're all good together. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, no, where are you guys? I've got to get in there sometime yeah, and sign. check that out. Uh, I'm guessing sign and yeah. probably print would be okay. I got an idea, but I, you know, an option, boy. I never knew it was there. Yeah, no, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know it was there. Um, so if you're right at the Paris town line, East Oxford Road, yep. if you're coming south, there's like one house, and then there's like a little bit of a, a little road or trail. Road, old or road, yes. old county road. Yep. It's got it's plenty of trees, um, but it's you can tell that it's a road, and you would go in that way. Um, yeah. Did you just out of curiosity? Did you guys purchase land off from? Well, I guess it would be Allen Hill Road, not Coldwater Road. It changes. They did. Because you get where you guys put the little parking lot right next yep. to the cemetery. Yep. Oh, yes. Yep. That's. I live over near there, and I, I went by, and I remember seeing a little sign. There should be ground. a sign coming soon. We have a building permit. Yep. <laughs> Smith Smith Bridge is what that's going to be dedicated yes. to, and it's an old covered bridge that was what destroyed in 1935. Sounds about right. Yeah, the stones, the stone stuff. Stones are still, still there. Oh, I know exactly these, where that is. These yeah. walking trails are going to be like revolving around that. Like what, 120 oh, acres right. out there? Yeah, it's actually three separate parcels, and the um, parcel on the east side of Allen Hill is going to be kind of the primary Sunday. recreational focus. Yep. Um, and yeah, the the trails um, I think are pretty much in because they, they're following old uh, the old log trails, trails. Yeah. Um, and signs are almost ready. I think we're having a, 
set off just an inch with our um, sign supplier. Um, so that's just the hold up, but it's almost ready for the big un unveiling. We yeah. wound up for about two years. Cool. And we cool. we're, yeah, it's great. we have another property that's also, it's not yet acquired um, and looking to acquire it in the fall um, that will also be re really great recreational access. I can't talk and too much about like, where it is. Yeah. Dog friendly and stuff like yeah. that. Because yeah. I, I live like literally right down the street from there and yeah. well I run I do all kinds of stuff out there yeah. and, and hunting and all that yeah. I've been out there so much. Yeah. I saw that sign and you were you had said what other properties I was just curious. Yeah, no, that's definitely that's awesome. awesome. And yeah, excited that people will be using it soon. Okay. <laughs> I think it's, it's been awesome. too long that we haven't signed it yet. I, so, I was uh, just worried because I know when they sold, when Chadburn sold all that land I was worried some developers would come in and just fill it full of houses. So mm -hmm. When I saw those signs and I'm like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah. We can talk more about it <laughs> when the whole world is in motion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. So, Kingston, we, we don't need us to file a building permit. Does that work? Yeah, I was, um, I gotta, I gotta look into it. I, I don't think it does, but I'll, I can get you this anyway tonight. Okay. And then I'll send you an email. Uh, it'll be Monday by the time you hear back from me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But yeah, so if we can do that actually. I don't think you need me for anything. If you want to follow me to my office. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank right. you. Well, uh, I guess that's the end of our, oh, yeah, for our business tonight. Any public comment? <laughs> no. It's Kingston's birthday tomorrow. Oh, oh that's nice. why I'm slacking on. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. Just get tomorrow off. Good. <laughs> well, on that happy note, we shall adjourn this meeting. I make a motion that we adjourn. I'll second that. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Let's go get ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Quick and famous. I like it. Oh, fun. Yeah, yeah. Gosh. That's why I put it beside you. Yeah. It wasn't it's on the back. <laughs> Amazing how much money is spent on this guy for Saturday, so I didn't want to have